Hello friends, welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. It's Saturday, November 11th, Veterans Day here in Tombstone. Happy Veterans Day to all those who have served this great nation. Today, we're just gonna take a little walk through town, see what's going on. We have a little touch of Christmas that has come to Tombstone. Also have a bunch of stuff I wanted to tell you guys about as we uh, make the trip. So as always, we're inviting you to come along with us. Let's go see what's going on. It's nice to be back on Allen Street. Feels like we haven't been down here in quite a while. As we take a little look at the Birdcage Theater, I wanted to tell you guys that the first movie I was in called Among Wolves, and that's starring Trace Adkins and Tom Berenger and James Russo. That movie's out now, and you can rent it. I want to say for six or six or seven dollars on Redbox, and I think it's on Amazon it's on as well. Amazon. Yeah. It is on Amazon, yeah. So I uh, recommend checking it out. Uh, don't do it just because you want to see me. <laughs> uh, I was an extra, and uh, I only appear on screen for maybe 10 seconds or less. But if you do watch that movie and you are looking out for me, I will tell you that I die like in the first 10 minutes of the movie. So. After that, I do not appear again, obviously, but I like the way everything turned out. It's uh, unfortunate they didn't use any of the takes of us biting the dirt. They had us actually hit the ground like we'd been shot. Uh, and then we had, they had us do that a couple times, actually, but didn't end up using it. So anyway, that's the way it goes in movies sometimes. But yeah, Among Wolves, out now. So we just got word a couple days ago that the Outlaw Zipline Tombstone's most thrilling attraction is going to be closed starting December 1st. So if you want to ride the Outlaw Zipline, do it before the end of November because they are closing on December 1st and they're not going to open up again until March. Just a little FYI for you there. <coughs> the Tombstone Christmas tree was just installed a couple days ago. And the tree lighting is coming up, what is that, November 24th? 25th. 25th. No, wait, no, it's is that the 25th or the 24th? I don't know. It's coming up later this month. So we will let you know when that happens. We'll be down here to check all that out. They do the tree a little differently every year. And this is this year's tree, so looking forward to seeing it lit up. I also wanted to tell you guys about the new docu-series I've been working on with the Tombstone Marshal's Office. And uh, if you're watching this, you've probably already seen an episode or two. I've, I've got two of them out there so far. We have a third one on the way. But um, those were uh, really uh, interesting. And uh, something I've never done before is filming with a police department in real time, on location, that kind of thing. So um if you did see those first two episodes you might have noticed a little bit of difference in the format there i had some viewers say well you didn't appear in the second one at all and I, I was thinking about how i was going to do this i'm still kind of playing with the format a little bit but i think i've uh, i've got it how i want it to be now so when that third episode comes out um it's going to be probably that's probably how we're going to how we're going to keep it as far as the uh, intros and things like that i first came up with the concept and thought it'd be kind of cool to do like a cops type show um, you know, based in Tombstone, but I mean, I even looked to see if I could, uh, if I could license the actual cops theme song, which actually I couldn't. Sometimes you can do that on YouTube, but oh yeah, <laughs> awesome. But anyway, um, yeah. And then after I was thinking, you know, I found some music that's kind of similar to the cops music. That's what you've heard already. If you, if you saw those first two videos, but I was thinking about it and it's like, you know, it's. I don't want to do a carbon copy of the show cops so i found some music that kind of fits tombstone a little better and uh working on a whole new intro for the show and that kind of stuff so hopefully that's something that we continue to do um long term and uh, we'll see how it goes the, the main thing was that people wanted more action and uh, i definitely understand that with the cop show but i pretty much just filmed for two one day with devore and one day with bear or one night with bear actually so what happened is what you saw. There was a little bit more actually that happened than what you saw, but 
uh, that was the more interesting stuff that happened. But I think going forward, I'm gonna compile as much uh, video as I can. And so instead of just showing you what happens in one day, we'll go kind of to like the best of uh, after the course of a week or something like that. So stay tuned for more of those episodes on patrol with Tombstone Marshals. Also, we have a new gelato shop here, as you can see, Pussycat Gelato, which just recently opened. I have not been in here yet, but I think we're gonna give it a shot. At least I will. Are you not coming in? Okay. Hello. Sure, no problem. Oh, pretty good. Is this a team for the day? No, I live here. Oh, wow. Hello. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, no problem. You guys always do get a 10% discount on us locals. I'm never not here at your country or off chance. Please remind me, okay? Okay. Is there anything you'd like to try? Um, gosh. Can you try anything else you would like? That all looks good. How about the salted caramel? Thank you. Can get two flavors, the nine ounce can get three. The pine can get as many flavors as you like. I would suggest two. And then the waffle cone is one flavor per scoop. You get three scoops in the waffle cone. I'll tell you what, how about just the medium of, of that salted caramel? That was really good. The caramel in there? Yeah. All right, so there it is. They've got a bunch of flavors, as you can see, but I'm kind of a caramel guy, so that was the most appealing, I thought, but... That's really good. You guys should come in and check this place out. They've only been open for like a week. But yeah, really good. It's a really nice day today. Cool enough to wear a sweatshirt, but warm enough to enjoy some gelato. Very busy Saturday in town today. It's good to see everything's so busy when it's not even a festival weekend. But it is a holiday weekend, so that might have something to do with it. Also, transitioning back to movies for a second, I wanted to let you guys know that the premiere of our short western film, What Must Be Done, that is going to be November 20th. That's a Monday, 7 p.m at the screening room in Tucson. So if you happen to be in the area and you want to check that out, I will put the link to get your online tickets down in the description for this video. But uh, if you want to check that out and you're nearby and you want to come say hello to the cast and crew, uh, I'll be there, Paul will be there. I think just about everyone that was in the movie will be there. Um, that'll be a good time to do it. And tickets are only $5. So if you want tickets, uh, get them quick because they are expected to sell out. Over here at Shefflin Hall, there is some kind of arts and crafts fair going on. And according to the sign, it's going on right now. So we're going to cross the street and check it out. Stuff's pretty cool. You just spent it on the last round. <laughs> you want to get your own Muppets or something similar to the Muppets. Oh, here we go. Making friends, custom puppets, and art. Haven't seen that before. Look at a few things. 
crystals or something? Yes. Hello. Shirts. Those little stone animals. Soapstone, yeah. Turtle. Oh. I'm good, how are you? What are you guys selling over here? Jewelry and stuff? Um, yeah. Or this isn't jewelry, is it? This is what? Yeah, yeah. This one has little bells, so it's like a wind chime. Cool. Jewelry, little Santa nose, holiday globes. Those are pretty cool. Yep, I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> a little bit of everything. It's Terry's Treasures? Yes, sir. Are you Terry? Yep. You're Terry, all right, cool. One of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make all this stuff? Uh, yes, sir, except for the little fairy bears and the painted wings, the cousin of mine. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Have a good day. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm fine. These are pretty cool. All my work is all freehand drawn. It's old style wood burning with a pen. Uh huh. Uh, it's all polyurethane protected. I do it with for PTSD therapy treatment. So what that means is every piece you see is an original piece. Uh huh. Because I can't duplicate anything because my mindset's never in the same place. Wow. That's all really, really good. How long does it take to make one of these? It depends. Uh, like I said, it depends on my... If you look at the... Some of them have more detail than others. Yeah. The ones with a lot of detail, that means I was having a really bad day. So I just try to slow my mind down by doing this. Uh, like the wolf right there, that took 12 hours. And it was 12 hours nonstop. This one over here? Yeah. Wow. A lot of shade and work. Uh, some of them, some of them I can whack out in an hour. Mm -hmm. Some of them, uh, you know, I've got some that take several hours or even a day. It all, it all depends on the frame of mind I'm in. Wow. How long have you been doing this? Um, I stopped taking PTSD medicine 15 years ago and started doing this for a hobby. And wow. I haven't, haven't had to take any medication since I started this. And with the medication... I just, just sat on my couch, I couldn't function. Yeah. They're like, take this and get on with your life. I'm like, I can't get off the couch. Well, they're very good. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Ralph. Ralph, I'm Dave. Dave, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for letting us take a look. Yep. Sorry. Did she tell you what I said? No. My husband is the biggest oh, yeah. fan of yours. Oh, really? <laughs> well, thank you. What's your name? Teresa James. Teresa, you're on the, you're on the vlog today. Oh. <laughs> He'll see you there. What are you guys selling over here? This is our booth. Ruth from Huffgood and I do booth. We, have a, we were doing crafts on Monday. And that's, what do we want to do today? That's it. Wow. <laughs> anything and everything. Do you make all this stuff? Yeah, everything's homemade. Wow. We have a good time. This must be where Ween's got those reeds earlier. I think so, yeah. Her sister came down and got two of them. So how long does it take to make a wreath like that? Uh, Roughly. Uh, maybe maybe an hour. You know, oh, really? Depending on what, what we have to put together. Because we've got like stashes of, of yeah. material here and there. And we have, by the time we get everything laid out, and it takes me longer. Ruth's, Ruth's very uh, quick. She does everything really, really fast. Mm -hmm. She 
she does a lot, some of her things at home, and I do some of my things at home, and then we, we collaborate and do things together. Yeah. Several months yeah. I wanted to do the whole thing. It was like, those are cool. <laughs> and then, like, two, three days ago, I sat down and was like, you know what? Yeah, you need to get one of these for Veterans Day. And I started, and then when I got the wolves done, I was like, one, one of these? Yeah, one of these for Okay. Veterans Day. We were giving them out. My girlfriend gave me some yarn and she said you're crafty she says i know you can do something with it right and so this is what we did for the veterans wow very cool to give support did you make the uh, gingerbread house too um the lady next in the next piece she does oh okay what's your husband's name mike james mike james okay <laughs> well that's great to hear tell him i said thank you very much i appreciate you guys Thanks for uh, letting us take a look. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Good, good. Mama Bear Creations. Yes. So you create stuff like this? Yep, I make, I make all these, I make everything here. Oh wow, okay. I crochet these, I embroidered these, quilted those, and then I sewed them. Wow. Look at all that stuff. Very cool. How long does it take to make something like this? Um, depending on it, it's about a week. Hmm. That's like sitting at home at night before I go to bed and working on it kind of thing. Cool, cool. Thanks. How you doing? Good, how about you? Good, good. These are pretty neat. Do you make these? Cool. This is all cotton, fa cotton fabric. Say again? Cotton fabric. Cotton fabric? Okay. Two, two coats of polyurethane over top. So they last? They last. Yeah, very cool. I don't know about snow though. Yeah. Pretty much every team you could think of. <laughs> Thank you. Also, are you familiar with the Pratt brothers? Well, turns out that they are the champions of the great Christmas light fight, a TV show about people who have very extravagant Christmas displays on their houses. And uh, they won. And they have recently been placed in charge of the new uh, event at Rawhide in Chandler, Arizona. As I understand it, it's called Pratt Brothers Christmas. And uh, if you've been with us for a long time, you might have saw that video we did. I think it's been a couple years now since we were at Rawhide and Chandler. But uh, we checked out the Christmas event they had there a couple years ago. And uh, it was okay. But uh, these guys are the champions of the Christmas light fight show. So I've seen some pictures of what they're uh, doing out there at Rawhide. And it looks like a dramatic major improvement over what they used to have. Well, it turns out they are big fans of the channel and they contacted us and uh, offered us some free passes to come down and check out the new and improved Christmas at Rawhide, Pratt Brothers Christmas, they're calling it. So we're gonna check that out in early December and we'll have a video for you um, when that is ready to go. As well as all the Christmas festivities coming up around town, we'll be here for that too. So uh, stay tuned for that stuff. But uh, I think that's it for today. Nothing too crazy. Just taking a walk, having a little talk. Again, happy Veterans Day. I hope you guys uh, have a great day. And uh, do you have anything else to add? She has nothing to add. So thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate you all. Until next time, until the next video, see you down the road.